All right, guys, so we got a little bit of a problem with the Dodge here. Let's talk about it. What's up, everybody? Bandit here. So, as you might be able to tell, we have having a little bit of a problem here in the Dodge, and it has everything to do with springtime and, unfortunately, mice. So, mice have found their way into my truck, and uh, in the back decided to make a nest and decided to raise their offspring, which as you might guess, not okay with me. So uh, I've been looking up how to deal with this problem. Obviously, I didn't want to just make it unlivable in here and kill the mice immediately uh, because then if I didn't find them all, I'd have to deal with dead mice in my truck and that's a no-go. Uh, obviously, that stinks. It could be hard to find. You might have to tear apart half the truck to find the mice. Uh, not exactly the best solution. So I was doing some reading online and came across peppermint oil. So uh, this little bottle of peppermint oil might not look like much, but I used maybe a quarter of it in here uh, and put it all around. I put it on some cotton balls, put it in the cup holders, put it in the in the back, uh, just kind of spread the cotton balls all around. And that was a pretty good solution for me. And uh, it is really, really strong. I, I didn't use hardly any of this bottle and uh, it says it's one fluid ounce in this bottle. I use maybe a quarter of it. And it is really, really strong, especially when it gets hot in here. I guess that really uh, gets the peppermint oil going and uh, really makes it strong in here. But it did get rid of my mice problem, which I'm very, very happy about. So the way that I found this is I was vacuuming out the truck the other day. And back here underneath the rear seat where the jack is stored, the mice had made a pretty serious nest back here. And actually, there's a baby mouse right back there in the nest. So I did remove all that, cleared it all up and set this peppermint oil around, and that did seem to fix my problem. So like I said, there's probably all different ways to handle a problem like this, uh, but I wanted to go the peppermint oil route because again, I really didn't want the mice dying in here. I think that would really be a headache and something that I was not willing to go through. Um, it was a process. Uh, it did take a lot of cleaning, a lot of shot back, and a lot of disinfecting, uh, which it's kind of hard to spare disinfecting material right now. Who would have thought? But uh, we did get to the bottom of it. I think I am free of all the mice problems, at least for now. Uh, but I do plan on keeping a little bit of peppermint oil or peppermint candy or something like that in here that does have a little bit of smell. Some of them might keep the critters out of the way. So if you've ever had a mouse problem, leave what you did down in the comment section below. Again, I after going through the peppermint oil thing, would definitely recommend that. And again, it doesn't really have too much of a negative effect on your truck. It's not like you're you're killing the, the animals in here. It's not like uh, you're spraying a bunch of, um, you know, ant spray or something like that. Something else that's really strong that would have a really bad smell. Um, it just kind of smells like a giant candy factory in here, which is okay by me. Uh, but thank you all very much for watching. Have a fantastic week, everybody. We'll catch you next time.